Hi, I'm Larry from CWC. Today I'm going to explain three aspects of our EMAC K Plus pump to you. I'm going to explain how to prime the pump, how to change the mode on the pump, and also how to read the scale on the small dial. So firstly, to prime the pump, the pump on the left-hand side is currently in constant mode, and if I turn the dial up, pump, as you can hear, the pump is operating. If I want to prime the pump, I press the power button which puts it into standby mode. You can see the LED is flashing. Then I hold the button down for four seconds, the same button. And when the pump starts dosing, as you can see now it's actually stroking at maximum capacity, it will run like that for 30 seconds until the pump primes. However, you can interrupt it by pressing the button again, which puts it back into standby mode. And then to put it back into operation mode, press it again to turn it on. LED goes on solid and the pump carries on as per normal. I'm now going to explain how to change the mode on the pump from constant mode to multiply mode. So the first step is to press the power button once, which puts the pump into standby. We then hold the programming button or the settings button down constantly until all the LEDs flash. What you do then is press that one more time and then you can scroll in order to move the LED to another position. So the power button also doubles up as a scroll button. And what one does is you move it okay, to the right position. It's now in multiply 1 to 10. And what we do is we press the settings or programming button, which saves that setting. And then what we do is we put the bump back on by pressing the power button, which takes it out of standby. And as you can see now that the LED is on solid in multiply 1 to 10. And then when the pump receives a an external pulse it will stroke and start pumping. The third thing I want to explain is the scale on the small dial. As you can see there are there are two scales there is 0 to 100 percent which is in green but that only pertains to constant mode because you can see the constant mode is in green whereas all the other modes are in in white. So when you're actually in one of the white modes such as the one we're in now which is multiplied by 1 to 10 the actual dial serves as a factor rather than a percentage. So if I turn the dial to position 6 in white, it means that it's multiplying by 6, which means that one pulse in will give you 6 strokes out. If I turn it to, say, number 2, one pulse in will give you 2 strokes out. And that explains how to change the mode in the pump. The other modes that we have are multiply. Uh, we have multiply 1 to 10. We also have dividing modes which means that you have to receive a number of pulses before you give one stroke. The pump can also dose proportional to an external milliamp signal, which can be 4 to 20 milliamp or 0 to 20 milliamp. And of course, in uh, constant mode. One more LED indication on the pump is level, which is a red light which comes up if the chemical drum runs out of chemical and the float on the foot valve drops down.